Welcome back. In this section, we are going to understand what is the most important part of the web ID for a developer. It can be a BAB developer, Fury developer, or can be also UI5 developer building the custom application. Can you name the three most important actions or activity which you will be performing in the web ID rabbit? Okay. So that is the response what Rabbit always gives. He faints whenever some difficult question comes to his side. So let's discuss about those three points. So listen carefully because these three points I'm not going to repeat again. Okay, so the three points are integration. Integration to your ECC backend. So if this is the web ID and if I open up the part, the major focus is given the integration aspect. Now, when we talk about integration, integration to your existing ECC system, integration to any open source services, and also integration to an existing open services, which you will be able to utilize. Now, what has happened in past is people have removed the dependency of writing the SQL queries in the database or the server. And what they are doing now is they are exposing the data with the help of the services. These services will have an endpoints and this endpoint you have to utilize. For example, if this is a service and this service has multiple endpoints and you will be basically using this service as if you are talking directly to the database. And this service will now be responsible for exposing all the data, all the activities you can do with the data. It can be querying the data, seeing a lot of records. Even for example, if I'm writing a select star statement with some of the filtering operation, I should be able to perform within the service. So that is how evolved the API management has become. Now, one of the integral part of the important part of the service management within the web ID is, it should be autonomous. For example, what we have seen from past few years or from the beginning of enterprise software is it should be following a high standard. And I mean high standard. So what happens is if you are a developer, there's a chance that you will be performing some of the mistakes if you are new to the technology because you are unaware about it or because there are multiple things to take care. Now, if a development tool can handle those mistakes internally and restrict the mistake from not happening, that is the best tool. Now, what happens in WebID? If I configure my WebID to integrate to my ECC system, the inbuilt discover services within the WebID will find out the metadata of the services. It will explode the metadata. Stop, stop, stop that. This is the integration side. You should not touch the metadata. <laughs> anyway, I think let's understand now. In the metadata, you will find everything the service has to offer. Now the metadata here will be taken by the discover service and internally WebID will understand what this service is capable of doing. What are the properties the service will be able to provide. It can be fields we are talking about, if the service is giving you some of the records like the billing details, the order number, the date, all these properties will be put within the metadata and you can understand, okay, these are all the fields I'm going to get in return. And all these things will be picked up by WebID and it will provide you a simple interface to configure initially your application.